wife, Melania, my kids, and our kids in the world with the kids as far as I'm concerned. They'll always be my kids. And I want to thank my great parents who are looking down right now and my brother looking down on us. Uh, I want to thank my entire family, including Marianne Elizabeth Robert. And uh, it's been some unbelievable day and evening and year and uh, never been through anything like this, but it's a beautiful thing to watch and a beautiful thing to behold. And we're going to make the American great again. negative ads, negative one after another after another, and I called my people and I said, how can we win? It's just constantly, and it was the same as Florida. You know, there have been 60,000 negative ads. I got to read from you folks, okay? 60,000. In fact, two weeks ago it was 55,000. Now it's 60,000 negative ads, most of which are absolutely false and disgusting. And I said, how can anybody endure this? I had one evening two nights ago where literally they had five ads on in between segments of a show that I was watching. And I said, that's just incredible. And the people are so smart. They don't buy it. They get it. And it's tremendous. <laughs> tremendous amounts of money were spent. Millions and millions of dollars, and they were comparing it. They think it was probably eight million dollars was spent against me, and we spent nine hundred thousand dollars. So, I mean, to me, that's the way it's supposed to be. That's something that makes me feel really, really very good. And now we're going to Nebraska, where I have, I just hear we're doing really wonderfully. I look forward to that very much. And. West Virginia, and we're going to get those miners back to work. I'll tell you what. We're going to get those miners back to work. We're not going to be Hillary Clinton. And I watched her three or four weeks ago when she was talking about the miners as if they were just numbers. And she was talking about she wants the mines closed and she will never let them work again. Let me tell you, the miners in West Virginia and Pennsylvania, which was so great to me last week, Ohio, and all of them are going to start to work again, believe me. You're going to be proud again to be miners. So we'll be going there. I, I must say, this tremendous run that we've had started with New York, where we had almost 62 percent, 
And don't forget, that's with three people. So 62% with two people is a massive landslide. But 63%, almost uh, just a little over 62, when you have that kind of a number with three people, it's actually unheard of. And all throughout, it was 17 people, then 15, then 12, and, you know, it's tremendous. And uh, we were getting very high numbers. And some of the numbers, in my opinion, that I got in the early stages were when a state with 32 percent, but there were 14 people. I think that might be actually more and better than getting 62 percent in New York. But we never got credit for that. But now we don't need the credit because we're going after Hillary Clinton. She will not. She will not be a great president. She will not be a good president. She will be a poor president. She doesn't understand trade. Her husband signed, perhaps in the history of the world, the single worst trade deal ever done. It's called NAFTA. And I was witness to the carnage over the last six weeks especially. Now, I've known Syracuse and I've known Poughkeepsie, and I've known all of the different places that I visited in New York, and then Pennsylvania, and then Maryland, which treated me so great, and the people are incredible, and all of the different states, Connecticut, and I've witnessed what it's done really firsthand, and it has been indeed carnage, and we're going to change it around. We're not going to let Carrier and all of these companies just think that they can move, go to another country, make their product, sell it back to us. And we get only one thing. We get unemployment. Not going to happen anymore, folks. Not going to happen anymore. <laughs> we're going to bring back our jobs, and we're going to keep our jobs. We're not going to let companies leave. Now, if they want to go to a different state, good luck. Compete. But when they start going to different countries, and in many cases, countries that devalue their currency and make it impossible for our companies to compete, that's not going to happen. Not going to happen. And if they want to do it anyway, there will be consequences. And there will be very, very serious consequences. I have to tell you that I've competed all my life competitive person. All my life, I've been in competitions, different competitions, whether it's sports or business or now for 10 months politics. And I have to tell you that I have met some of the most incredible competitors that I have ever competed against right here on the Republican Party. And we started off with that 17 number. And just so you understand, Ted Cruz, I don't know if he likes me or if he doesn't like me, but he is one hell of a competitor. He is a tough, smart man. And, and he has got an amazing future. He's got an amazing future. So I want to congratulate Ted. And I know how tough it is. It's tough. It's tough. I have had some moments where it was not looking so good, and it's not a great feeling. And so I understand how Ted feels and Heidi and their whole beautiful family. And I want to just say, though, that uh, one tough competitor. And I can say that for... I can say that for the others. I mean, uh, Chris Christie, who endorsed me, incredible guy. Dr. Ben Carson, who was right up there, one of the first, he just called me and said, it's a movement you've got going. We've got to do something, because I'll tell you what, it's an incredible movement. And Dr. Ben Carson endorsed me. And I want to tell you, that is an incredible man. And we want to keep them totally involved, because we're going to win. We're going to win in November. <laughs> It's going to be America first. You know, I made a speech the other day and I talked about how we're the policemen for the world, how we protect other countries and they don't respect us and they don't take care of us and they don't treat us right in many cases. 
And that's not going to happen. Now, we can keep things going, and we're going to keep things going very nicely, but we owe 21 soon, $21 trillion. It's 19 now, but with a budget that was recently done, soon it will be $21 trillion. And we're just not in the position that we're in 30 years ago, 40 years ago, 50 years ago, when a lot of these things took place and began taking place. So we're going to have unbelievably good relationships with other countries. But likewise, they have to treat us fairly, and they have to understand that what we've been doing over the years has been so wrong and so unfair to the United States and to its people and to its taxpayers. So that will change, and I will tell you, they're going to end up liking us better than they do right now. They're going to respect us. In this building right upstairs, In this building right upstairs, I have the largest bank in the world from China. The relationship is fantastic. We have great relationships with many foreign China. The relationship is fantastic. We have great relationships with many foreign countries, but they have to respect us, and they have to respect us, and they have to understand where we're coming from. And you know, it is a two-way street, and the two-way street means that we're going down one side and they're coming up the other, and we're going to meet, and we are going to have something that's going to be really fabulous. Now, if that can't happen, if for some reason they want the system to continue the way it's going now, which is unfair and not good, where we're spending trillions and trillions of dollars, probably four trillion dollars in the Middle East, and we have to rebuild our infrastructure, our roads, we have to rebuild our bridges, our airports, our hospitals in this country. We've become close to a third world country. You look at some of our airports, it's third world, and then you go to other countries and you see places like you've never seen. So I have to say that we are going to turn it around. We're going to build up our military bigger, better, stronger than ever before. It's the cheapest thing we can do. And we're going to have to take out ISIS, and we're going to have to take them out fast. We can't allow that cancer to continue. We cannot allow it to continue. And, you know, uh, one group that's been so incredible to me are the vets, the veterans. And they've been treated so badly, so badly. And we're going to get that, we're going to get that straightened out. Now, one of the things that just happened, which to me is very exciting, and it's happened now with two or three, but uh, the Rasmussen poll came out yesterday. And in that poll, I'm now leading Hillary Clinton. A lot of good things are We're now leading Hillary Clinton by two points. And uh, that's going to continue because they're not going to be able to do it, folks. They're not going to be able to make great trade deals. We have such bad deals. They're not going to be able to do what we can do with the military. They're not going to be able to do what we're going to do on the border, including the wall. We're going to have unbelievably great relationships with the Hispanics. The Hispanics have been so incredible to me. They want jobs. Everybody wants jobs.